Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to look at cauliflower power. I did look through this on our live stream and I was shocked because it has so many cool recipes in here, different ways of using cauliflower, things that I just honestly had not thought of. And I love the ideas in here. They're pretty phenomenal. So let's go into this together. Plus cauliflower is so pretty. I mean, I love just, it's vibrant and fun. So here is our table of contents. It's pretty standard for most cookbooks. Uh, but what's interesting is all the things you can do with cauliflower. In the beginning, it talks about the different ways to actually cut and prepare cauliflower and how you actually do that with step-by-step -step photos. To be honest, I struggle with this and have many times like I florets. I don't know why I'm a huge mess and I can never do it properly. So I like that they've shown this and honestly, like the steaks I've messed up before. So I like that there's chapters on how to just do these fundamentals. So here we start with breakfast. Here's a list of all of the dishes we're going to find. And that applies to every single chapter, which is very, very nice. Here we go trail mix breakfast cookies with cauliflower so everything in here has cauliflower uses cauliflower in a lot of unique ways this requires one cup of cauliflower rice so you'll see here there are metric and u.s measurements here very handy here's our instructions just a brief overview of this dish how you can use it perfect for hiking obviously and we have different notes here, things that, you know, if you needed substitutes, make ahead, storing, all of those are going to be in the notes. All right, so here we have cinnamon sugar blueberry muffins. Love that. Look perfectly delicious to me. I had this at the library and somebody bent this. Here we have classic vanilla waffles with cauliflower. I'm wondering if you still use or flour for this. Yeah, you do. So one thing that's cool is that this is a fairly gluten-free cookbook. I mean, almost everything I think in here is gluten-free, which is pretty phenomenal. And uh, it does try to be as vegetarian slash vegan as possible as well. <clears throat> so that's pretty handy. We have eggs in a nest. Those are cute. This is a perfect savory bake. So I know for me, I'm not huge in the, to, like, I'm not huge about the sweets for breakfast. So I love the savory and I love like the go-to meals. I used to work in construction. So like that was a, a must have in my life. Here we have cauliflower bacon bits. What? That's excellent. That's a cool idea. Cauliflower tots. Moving forward, we have a cauliflower and sweet potato hash. Look at how pretty that is with the purple cauliflower and the, I think there's green cauliflower. Yes, it's not broccoli, it's cauliflower. All right, we also have a chickpea and feta shakshuka with cauliflower. Moving on to more than breakfast, we have some lunches and sides and party meals. This is a cilantro lime chickpea salad with those beautiful purple cauliflowers. Kale Caesar salad with smoked chickpea croutons. I'm not seeing the cauliflower in here, actually. It looks stunning. I wonder if it's in the dressing. So you get a little bit of that creaminess. A California with cauliflower sticky rice. So this book is not just, it's friendly for most vegetarians, vegans, gluten-free, and maybe even if you're having to do some like low carb sort of thing that would be helpful too because there's a lot of like substitutes that you can use for like the cauliflower we have falafel cauliflower oh man yum happy hour vegan i see some vegan queso which you can use cauliflower for to get again like that thicker creaminess buffalo jackfruit dip yummy Buffalo cauliflower wings. Honestly, I've had these before. I haven't made them myself, but they they are pretty bomb. I think I might prefer them over chicken. I don't know what it is, but the cauliflower is just so good. These, ooh, what are these? They're like little crudités. Uh, coconut crusted cauliflower poppers. Is that what this is? No, it's not. This is a nacho cauliflower tostada. That's what I'm looking for. That looks amazing. Perfect for parties. And that would be great for vegan and vegetarian and gluten-free. Turmeric roasted vegetable Buddha bowl. 
this. We're in dinners right now. We have a vegetarian taco recipe. You can mix the cauliflower with some beans. Some hominy would be great too. Pizza, you can make your own cauliflower crust. There's also a dessert pizza in here using a, obviously a more sweet version of the pizza crust. Mozzarella chicken. Delicious using cauliflower as your breading, which is amazing, a great idea. Cauliflower chili. This, ooh, I have to find this. This is a veggie burger. This looks really good. I'm getting so hungry. We have a cilantro lime cauliflower rice, which is a really good idea. Low carb, you can put chicken on it if you wanted to, or you can do some other variation like mushrooms. That would be really good. Ooh, with like a chimichurri. Oh. Here we have a whole roasted cauliflower. It looks like bread, but it's not. This is a really cool idea. It's got sun-dried tomato and sesame on it. We have the best cauliflower mash. And here's the thing. This is something I have actually run into. My cauliflower mash ends up being a little too watery and it's probably, I just add too, too many liquids. It's hard, especially with plant milk because it's just not, you know, it's not like cream. So I'm excited to try this out. So simple, but like, it's important. You want to get the texture right. So I'm excited to follow this. Grilled cauliflower kebabs. What is this? This is a side dish. It says savory churros with garlic Dijon aioli. I am in love with that idea. That sounds so tasty. We also have fried florets with green goddess dressing. Cheddar jalapeno cauliflower biscuits. chocolate mousse using cauliflower. I'm just kind of astounded with all of these ideas, like a salted chocolate or salted caramel fondue using cauliflower. Fantastic idea. Strawberry ice cream, cauliflower dessert pizza, and then one more. Oh, and there are step-by-step -step photos as well, by the way. And we have a peanut butter muffin. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. 75 recipes, sweet and savory, all using cauliflower. A lot of low carb, gluten free, mostly vegan, vegetarian. There are some meat dishes in here, but there's so many ways of using cauliflower. So this could be some building blocks to maybe incorporating to other recipes and you can substitute things for cauliflower instead. So check this out. If you're looking for some other specialty cookbooks or things that are just like a little more unique or focuses on one ingredient, check out our specialty cookbook playlist. We have a lot of unique cookbooks over there. And join us on our socials. Those are in the description down below at Cookbook Divas. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe, to follow, and let us know what cookbooks you want us to look through next time.